busy to have fun, there's business to have fun. Then what are you? Bob. What are you? What am I? What are you? I was saying, if you're just a slave to commerce. If I'm just a slave to commerce? Yes. I'm nothing. No. You're absolutely right. You gotta have fun. You know why? Okay, why? Because or else you'll die and people will say he never had any fun. How close are you to Ross? How close am I to Ross? I don't know. How close should I be? I have to ask you something. Go ahead, Charles. You want a green light a picture? What's your deal? What's your What's new deal? What's my new deal? Is that all you can talk What's about? What's your new deal? All right. Over 10 mil, I need Ross's approval. Under 10 mil, I can green light it. So what? This morning, Bob. Yes? This morning, a man came to me. A man came to me. What, are you already you here to promote me? Bob. You're here to promote me, Charles? Bob. Because, Charles, one thing I don't need when everybody in this jolly town is trying to promote me. Bob. Do you want to see my messages? Bob. Get him while he's hot. Yes, yes, but... My good, my good friend, Charles Bob. That is why we have channels. Huh? All these little people out there that we see, you understand? Bella asks, what are they there for? Well, Charles, we don't know. But we think you give the thing to your boy, gives it to my boy, these people get to eat, they don't have to go beg and get in everybody's face the airport the whole time. <laughs> this morning, the phone won't stop ringing. Do you know who's calling? Everybody says they met me in Topeka in 1972 and do I want to make their movie. Guys want me to do remakes of films haven't been made yet. Huh? Huh? I'm drowning in coverage. The story of a horse and the horse who loved him. <laughs> now, so, with his knowledge uh -huh. of computers, his money, right, his links with the outside, a girl, I'm telling us a great part. When I saw this, you know, I don't know how it got past us. When they get out of prison, the head convict's okay. sister. A buddy film, a prison film, Dougie Brown, some girl. Action, 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 action. a lot of social Wait, that's things. what I'm saying. Good, good, good. Sort of, good. Now, now. Get no, that's what I'm Don't saying. Don't even say it. Bob, I understand. I just wanted to I say know what you're going to say, and you're right. I know what you're going to ask, and I'm going to see you get it. Absolutely right. You go on this package as the co-producer. Your name above the... Thank you. Thank me. Thank you, Bob. Hey, you came in here. Oh, no, thank you. What if she just liked you? <laughs> yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> you're saying if she just liked you... You mean nobody loves me for No! Myself. No. She's what? Neither vacant nor ambitious. I'm not saying that you don't deserve it. You do deserve it. Hey, I think you're worth well, it. Well, thank you. But she's what? Neither dumb nor ambitious enough. She will go to bed with me. She's too. She's too. She's too. Highline? Oh. She's. She's too. She's too. Yes. So what's she doing in this office? She's a temporary worker. You're full of it, child. Well, maybe I'm sorry. It took hey, a hey, 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 hey. He sensed the cross. He sensed the strength to bear it. <laughs> Come on. Go to lunch. Didn't mean to it's apply. Ah, nobody loves me. Nobody loves me for myself. Big deal. Don't go moping on me here. Huh? Come on. We'll go and celebrate. A Douglas Brown film. <laughs> Fox and Ghoul. You're very kind. You brought the guy in. Fox and Ghoul present. I'll see you at lunch. But I bet you would go out with me. Then each day is hell you haven't got a compass. All you got is good taste. And you can shove good taste up your ass and fart the carnival of Venice. Good taste will not hack it. Because each day the pressure just gets worse. It just gets more difficult. I want you to do a favor. Read this book for me. I should read yes. the radiation book? Let's be frank. It's probably, this almost definitely unsuitable. It probably is artsy, but, but as you said, maybe it isn't. Huh? You read it, you'll tell me, and I'll tell Mr. Ross. Okay. And then you're right, and then at least we looked. I'd be flattered to read Good. it. Good. Thank you. Not at all. I thank you. Now, I will need a report on it. Oh, so of thank, course. You. thank you. No, I thank you. Do you know what he's talking about? Fear. A life lived in fear. And he says, well, it says in the book, it doesn't have to be so. That those things we have seen, you know, and you think, I am I the only one on the whole planet who knows how bad it is? That it's coming. That, that it's sure to come. 
radiation field. And I don't care. I don't care what capacity. Well, why should I? Because I don't have any skills. Anyway, I don't know what to do. But I just, it would be so important to me to be there to help. If you could just help me with that. And seriously, I'll get coffee. I'll do anything. I don't care. But if you could just do that. He said no. Would you have gone to bed with him? I don't think that I'll answer you. No. I don't think that you have the right to ask it, Bob. I would like to know the answer. You would? Yes, I would. Bob, well, then I. Without the bullshit. Just tell me. You're living in a world of truth. Would you have gone to bed with me? I didn't No. Uh, now I'm lost. Bob, please be quiet for one minute. Bob, Bob, uh, we have the opportunity to make it. You wanted to do good. Thank you. 
revolution. Right? So, we learn a lesson. But we aren't here to find God. We aren't put here to mope. Now, what are we here to do? Bob, after all is said and done, what are we put on earth to do? We're here to make a movie. And whose name goes above the title? Box and Google.